Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a new Let's Play on a game called King's Quest. This is chapter one of the game. It's called A Night to Remember. If you don't know much about King's Quest, uh, it's basically uh, a very old game uh, from 1984, which means it's about 30 years old. And uh, yeah, I haven't played any of the old ones, uh, but I've seen a little bit of this game in some trailers, and I thought it looked really fun, so I thought I'd check it out and bring you along for the uh, for the ride. It is a adventure game, uh, kind of like uh, if you've seen Broken Age, the uh, the series I've been doing on that. It would be kind of uh, similar to to that style of game. Also, lots of the the old Monkey Island games I love uh, very much. And uh, uh, yeah, so basically, lots of puzzle solving, uh, puzzle solving, and storytelling uh, will be the two biggest things here. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully we can enjoy the uh, the story, and uh, hopefully I can solve the uh, the puzzles. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm I'm heading down a well. Uh, I don't know why I want to, uh, but it seems like that's what the game wants me to do. Uh, so down we go. I'm sure there's a good reason for this, and uh, I believe. I've been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Ah, all right. It seems like we have a, a storyteller. It seems like maybe my character's narrating uh, what they're doing, and it looks like there's a big mattress down the well. <laughs> you know, traditionally you throw money down the well to make wishes, not mattresses. Um, okay, I can move it. Well, no, I can try and move it. I guess it's a, a pretty heavy match. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> and down it goes. Right, so is there anything else around here? So normally... Those lost uh, wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Yeah, we weren't after money. What I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to go and I'm going to turn the uh, the subtitles on for you. Uh, so then that way, uh, if you can't hear uh, what they're saying, uh, then um, uh, yeah, then you'll be able to, to read what they're saying as well. Uh, but as much as I can, I'll try and stay quiet uh, when people are speaking. Um, yeah, as much as I can. Sometimes they will unpredictably start speaking, <laughs> and I'll be talking over them. Um, right, it looks like we found a hidden door. I guess I knew this place. I don't know any of the, the setup as to why I'm going down here, but it it's fun. Exactly it's a mystery. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Yeah, so I've definitely been to this place before. It sounds like I'm a lot older. It sounds like I'm a much older version of me, uh, telling the, the story to, to someone else. And uh, look at this cave. I love the look of this game. This game looks really cool. Uh, it's been developed uh, by the Odd Gentleman and uh, published by Sierra. Uh, Sierra? Sierra, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's a uh, part of uh, Activision. Uh, so yeah, they're the uh, the people that made this game. And there's going to be five chapters. And as I mentioned, this is chapter Ooh, number one. Contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. All right, looks like I have puzzle number one. I'm trying to get to some treasure now. It seems like uh, this gentleman down here didn't have uh, very much luck. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can uh, have a little bit of better luck. Um, I turned this and oh, did it open? I think uh, I think this has allowed me to, to get through. There we go. Uh, now on to the treasure. Whatever the, the treasure is going to, to be. Uh, the person I'm actually playing as, I think it's the person anyway, is, uh, is called uh, Graham. And you might actually recognise Graham. Graham is actually in Minecraft, believe it or not. You know the, the painting uh, that you can put up and I always say it looks like Pinocchio? <laughs> that is actually uh, of uh, what Graham looked like uh, in the, uh, the first King's Quest uh, that came out uh, a very long time ago. And there's beds hanging from the ceiling. Is that someone snoring? I think there's something very big snoring. This is a weird place. Even though um, the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. <laughs> I was just having a little bit of a, a nap. Right, why are there a load of beds down this uh, Wait, down this well? Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Okay, so it seems like I'm telling the, uh, the story to my grandson. And there's a weird place full of beds down here. A bridge of beds I'm walking over now. And my guess is some sort of giant. Something making yes. the, the air go. Ah. a slumbering pile of teeth. That the claws was... Fable Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favourite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me... 
the greatest knight in all of Daventry on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. I'm trying to get a hat, is the, the thing I wanted. Okay, so there's a mirror. I need to get the mirror because King Edward said he wants the mirror, but there's a dragon in my way, so I'm gonna have to either get the dragon out the way or defeat it. More likely I get the dragon out the way. Crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Okay, looks like we have a uh, a silly conundrum to make a little less of a conundrum, I guess. I guess it would still be silly, <laughs> but a little bit of a conundrum. Right, we need a handle. I guess this is puzzle number one. I can see that in the bottom right-hand corner if I press square. Aha, uh -huh. I reckon this is uh, my inventory. This is where I can look at all of the, the things I've picked up. And at the moment, I've not picked anything up. And oh, could I use this as a handle? Could I use the lamp as a handle? Could I use this bed as a handle? Could I go and sleep in the bed? I can say I'm gonna be somersaulted into I bed. Saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. <laughs> I'm really curious as to why there are so many beds down here. Right, there's a bit. Oh no, there's a big bell. I think I need to get this to get the handle, but there's also a sleeping dragon. Big bell ringing, sleeping dragon. Can you see what's going to happen here? Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. Ah, it seems like when I, when I look at things, I can kind of look around in like a, a first person view. But anyway, let's go and uh, take this handle and probably ring the bell and be ready to run. Like, run fast, I mean. <laughs> right. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. That didn't seem very clever. <laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. To hide, to hide. Oh, bed, 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 in the bed. In the bed, get in the bed. Get in the bed. No, get in the bed, please. Oh, I got a somersault in. There we go. Woo. Woo. That was close. <laughs> oh, look, it's got an arrow in it. It's got an arrow in one of its eyes. That was really scary. I couldn't get in bed. I tried, but I couldn't get in. <laughs> Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Right, now I've got the, the, uh, the handle. I tried uh, to hopefully, I can piece this together. But it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Okay, I guess I need to go and grab my handle, and then I can go and put it in. And then now, hopefully, I can drop the, the drawbridge and uh, go across. I still need to deal with that dragon somehow. I've not addressed that issue. I've hid from it. And oh, that was noisy. I can see sunlight. But if that little bell, well, that big bell, woke up the, the dragon, there is no way that big Dragon's thundering bridge didn't wake it up. Coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. No, oh, I feel sorry for the dragon now. It's all caged out. I didn't realize it was all tied this down. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Okay, hopefully we're not going to be adding uh, another one to the uh, the collection. Right, I guess I need to edge my way around here. Very carefully, considering the big drop and the dragon, of course. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look, this is, oh, this is the chain around its neck. You see the thing above me? So if that gets released, then the dragon will be released. In the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Okay, so the dragon's gone back to sleep for now. So let's try and be quiet. And there it is. He's down the end of this corridor. Okay, oh, what's this thing? Ah! Okay, that's kind of scary. Oh, it's a bed. Of course it's a bed. Why are there so many beds here? There's all these mysteries about the mirror, and the dragon, and the hat, and the king, and everything. I just want to know what's going on with all these beds. What? What's the reason with all the beds? Right, I'm going to have to sneak past it. When it goes back, I need to run, 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 run. Then I can hide in this bit of a cave here. And then it's going to go back down that way. 
And then I can run this way and run into this little bit of the cave very quickly and just about run past. And then when it goes back again, I am out of here. There we go. I was able to get past the uh, the bed, but now I've got a, a dragon to contend with. Oh, i got to be very quiet walking over the... That wasn't very quiet. <laughs> that woke up the dragon, really. The huge drawbridge hardly did anything, but that woke it up. Right, get to bed. Get to bed. I know what I need to do now. Right, I can hide here for a bit. But there seems like the, the other bed I need to hide in seems to be high up in the sky on one of the uh, stalactites. So I need to try and drop it down. Or maybe if I just don't walk on the bones. If I go and tread very carefully. This is really scary. <laughs> Genuinely scary. Right, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, there's not much. Ooh, da, 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 nearly. Tippy toes. Tippy toes, Stampy. Tippy toes to the left, 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 to the left. And I am past them. And the bed fell down and made a big racket anyway. So let's get into bed. <laughs> I love the way I somersault in bed. I think I'm going to get into bed like that in the uh, the future in real life anyway. I'm always boring and just go and walk into bed. I'm going to somersault into bed because why not? <laughs> Right, I was able to, to sneak up to the uh, the dragon uh, somewhat successfully. Uh, I made a little bit of a racket, but I'm close now. Uh, and uh, haha, there seems to be a ladder here. So given the two options of heading straight to the mouth of the dragon or climbing up this ladder, I'm going to choose the ladder, no surprise. And I now need to find a way to get the mirror. Oh, designed this trap. Thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Hmm, I need to hit the switch, I guess, from somewhere far back here. Um, let's have a look at it. Let's see what see what we have available to us. So, I don't get why. I, do, do I hit it, then it will just unravel? I think it's going to drop another drawbridge for me to get across. But we're right on top of the, the dragon now. Aha! Very convenient. A bow. Is there any arrows, though? I didn't see any arrows. Maybe I need to find something for an arrow? What am I doing? Just, just psyching myself up for this. Oh, it's kind of a little bit scary with the old skeleton. Old skelly bones holding on to it. Well, you're not going to be needing this anymore. Don't mind if I borrow it. And... <laughs> Seems like the skeleton has a hand on things. <laughs> right, I got the bow. I guess I now need going to fight. Oh, and I immediately just randomly have a uh, uh, an arrow as well. So that's very handy. And I hit the switch and it dropped down. Uh, because this is the... um. The very opening of the game, it's going to be teaching me the, the controls. So a lot of these puzzles uh, uh, seem very easy, uh, but I'm sure they're going to be gradually getting uh, harder and harder as we go. And oh, ooh, okay. Uh, is there a specific way I need to walk? Let's go to this side now. Um, I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, let's go to this side. Hopefully it's going to hold my weight. And there we go. I got a cross going this way. I'm a little bit worried about going back the other way though. There's the mirror. You can see it glowing. It's very shiny. You can see why the dragon likes it. Sleeping on all of its mattresses. That's why there's so many mattresses. A dragon that big can't sleep on one mattress. You know, one mattress will be big enough for about his toe. He needs to lay them all out to sleep on them. Now it makes sense. <laughs> the dragon made the mattresses. Right, so we got the bell. And we got this. There's also a ladder, it seems like. Um, there's a thing down there. Let's just poke around with things and let's see what happens. Oh, I can climb up here. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, now what can I do from up here? Uh, nothing. Fantastic. Right, let's go. Let's go and turn this and let's see, see what happens. feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Okay. Oh, this that's food. That's like a huge bit of meat. That's how we feed the dragon. Right, I reckon we need to somehow get that mirror onto that uh, little platform so I can bring it back to me. So what happens when I bring it back? Where does it go then? Is it going to go down to... Aha! Oh, I just pushed that little bit of meat off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the... Um, somehow get that mirror onto the, the platform. So uh, let's do this. And that's going to go and drop the, uh, the, the food down. And then if I ring the, uh, the bell... Uh, hopefully the, the dragon's going to look up and then, I don't know, we'll we, we just see what happens. I'm wasting an awful amount of, uh, of food here. <laughs> there seems to be plenty though. I don't know where this giant meat came from. Maybe there's just massive cows in this area, but uh, yeah, there seems to be plenty of it nonetheless. Right, I rang the bell. The dragon's seen the num-nums with its one eye. Okay, but it's not knocking the mirror at all. The mirror's just staying where it is. 
This still isn't really helping me too much. Um, is there anything else I can do now then? Uh, what happens if I if I lift it up now then? Is that gonna do anything? I think I've just distracted him. Maybe while he's distracted, can I can I go back? I don't seem to be able to go back to any other areas. I seem to be uh, stuck here for for now. Maybe I, I thought that maybe while he's distracted, uh, I could run down there and get the mirror. Uh, but no, I don't seem to be able to head back anywhere. Or right, let's turn this, and then let's go and try if I can and get on the uh, the platform. If I stand on this meat, <laughs> I'm gonna go and get pushed down. And wish me luck. I'm gonna go and get taken down to where the the dragon is. Ah! ah! That was really scary. Grandpa. <laughs> Dragon Petite Four. Oh, that was really scary. <laughs> that generally made me jump. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought that because I didn't ring the bell, he wouldn't know that I was there. Because before, he only looked up when I rang the bell. Right? I don't have anything on me. Uh, let's try and work this out. Come, this is like puzzle number one here. What happens if I ring the bell? And there's no food down there. Let, let, let's see what happens then. Let's try uh, every different um, scenario and uh, see what happens. So I've woke the dragon up, but there's no food. I think I've just made the dragon grumpy. He's got the chain around his neck. So hopefully I'm safe where I am. Oh, okay. He's wandered over there. And he's angry because there's no food. And now he's gone and he's wandered back. Ooh! Do you think I need- if I get the food over there to the left and get him to walk over there and then somehow go down to the mirror, that might work. So let's go- let's go grab the, uh, the food, shall we? This feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Okay, so I want to grab the meat, but I don't want the meat to be right by the- the mirror. I want to get the- the meat. Uh, hopefully uh, over to the the left, but then I'm not actually sure uh, how I'm gonna go and get down to the the mirror. But we can work this out. We, we we got this. We got this. We're smart. We know what we need to do. So we drop that meat off. That meat's not needed. And then hopefully there we go. It's dropped that down to the left. So if I ring the bell now, uh, hopefully the dragon's gonna go and take that meat off the the platform. And then look, look, look there we go. The dragon's heading over here. And he's going to go after this bit. Oh, look, he pulled it off. He pulled it off. Now, if I go and do this, I need to be really quick now, really quick. Then I climb up here and stand on uh, top of this. It's going to drop me down to the mirror where the dragon isn't. Look, the dragon's still busy uh, eating his num-nums. And I can go and get the mirror. Go get the mirror. Go get the mirror. Go get the mirror. Go, 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 go. I don't know how my, uh, what my escape plan is, but at least I can get the mirror. There we go. I got the mirror. That's the, the, the quest is complete. Game over. Then nothing else happened, and then the dragon fell asleep again, and I was totally safe, and nothing dangerous happened. Oh look! When I look in the mirror, it looks like I'm the king, and... Okay, maybe this isn't what's gonna happen. <laughs> right! Oh, look at that! Okay, lift up, lift up, lift up, go, 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 go! Oh, I can use the arrow! Of course! That's how I get back up. <laughs> and now I run. Oh no, it's this bridge again! Okay, I guess I need to go a different route than what I went last time, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. I think if I just keep running and jumping... Go, 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 go! Oh, no, I fell! I fell! Okay, it's okay. I'm on the mattress, though. I am luckily still on the mattress, and uh, I am still uh, just about upright. Uh, but now oh, I need to make the shot. What am I trying to shoot? I need to shoot the string. There we go. I shot the, the rope, and then that dropped down. Okay, I need to be ready to shoot anything else. Hopefully not a dragon. Oh, I need to shoot the string again. Just about, just about, and then the string again. Nice! <laughs> I'm a bit of a, uh, a sharpshooter here, aren't I? I'm not doing too bad. All right, any, anything else coming out? Oh, the dragon! There's the dragon. Okay, I need to row. I need to row. Circle, 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 circle. There we go. I was able to row and uh, get past where the dragon was. I need to dodge. I need to dodge. Go, 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 go. There we go. Dodge the other way and then dodge down. <laughs> Just lie down on the, the mattress. This is cool. I need to shoot the arrow again. Up, 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 and shoot. There we go. Just about. I'm not even sure if my aim was on it then, but the game was nice and said it was anyway. <laughs> there we go. I'm so nearly out. The dragon's still after me, though. Right, I need to jump over it. And land back down on the mattress. Nicely done, nicely done. Keep on going, keep on going. Oh no, this place seems open. This place seems ready for a dragon ambush. And I think we're okay. I think we've escaped. It's just a very pretty cave. And is this the is this the outside? Nope, we are not done yet. I keep seeing sunlight. 
Uh, well, moonlight at least, which makes me think we might be near the end. Oh, there's a dragon. I can drop it on the dragon. There we go. I was able to drop the the spiky bed trap <laughs> on top of the, the dragon. And now have I escaped? Well, I'm still in the cave. And oh, no, the dragon's there. Um, Behind you. There's a dragon. And he's angry. Oh, he can't reach me, though. He's got his chains on him. Okay. Just so long as the, the chains don't break, then we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's run anyway. Oh no, the cave's collapsing. It's made the whole cave collapse. Hopefully the dragon's okay. I do feel a little bit sorry for the, the dragon. <laughs> it's not still chasing me, is it? There's a big ball of smoke, so I can't see if the dragon's still there or if it's just the, the falling beds causing the, uh, <laughs> the big uh, cloud of smoke behind me. Right. Now are we safe? Please say yes. <laughs> I think we're... Oh, look, we're back to here. I, I remember from here earlier. This is the, the pretty waterfall, so... Um, that was exciting. That was an exciting conclusion uh, to, to episode number one. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Uh, I'm having good fun. Uh, I decided just to record this video and I was like, if it seems to be a fun game, then I'm going to carry on. I'm going to record it and upload it. And you know what? I think this was fun. And so the fact that you're watching it now uh, means, of course, that I did decide uh, to upload it. So, uh, yeah, this is only episode one uh, of, uh, of chapter one. And excuse me, I'm trying to speak. Excuse me. Can you stop speaking over me? kingdom it could become. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, that is the end of episode one. Uh, but this is only uh, episode one of chapter one, so there's plenty more uh, King's Quest uh, to come. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!